Hey there and welcome to this week's commentary challenge. So the challenge that one was talking about the Battlefield 4 reveal that happened a couple of days ago. So I'm going to do this. If you want to have your challenge in this weekly series, just leave it in the comment section below and the highest rated comment wins as always. So yeah, we are talking about the Battlefield 4 reveal. The first thing I noticed, it's single player gameplay. Don't get me wrong, but I don't know a single person that bought Battlefield 3, for example, for the campaign. It's not like, you know, there are millions of people picking up that freaking game just to play the campaign. I, I actually don't even know anyone that, you know, went through the campaign. And I didn't go through the campaign because I think it's boring. And I don't know, I'm buying a game like Battlefield for the massive multiplayer action we get. And not for the single player, but hey, probably there are millions of people out there that just think, okay, I will spend 60 bucks just to play the single player and then I'll never touch the game again. That's... I bet there are people out there that are like that. But yeah, of course, they showed us something. That's it's, it's something, yeah. It's something. We got something to see. It's single player, but yeah, it's something. So we saw something from Battlefield 4 and the graphics look actually amazing. But the second thing I noticed is lens flares. I have no idea if you know what that means, but a lens flare is basically this colorful circle you get if you look into the direction of the sun or close to the sun. You know, that will block your vision a little bit, it will be harder to see something. And you know what, I love them in Battlefield 3, it was so amazing. For example, on Nosar Canals, I think the map is called? You're looking on onto your left side, you know, if you spawn on the, I think it's the US side, if you spawn on the US side, and you look on the left side to your left, and there will be a solar flare and there will be sunlight and you will be blinded and there is no way you can see any kind of enemy. If they're wearing the black, you know, the black suits or however they're called, you know, they're black, whatever. If they wear the black thing they can wear, you have no idea of seeing them at all. There is no way to see them. But hey, that was the funny thing about it. You have this huge advantage if you use the sun to your advantage. So I really think they should add more sun to Battlefield 4, you know, more sun at all. I want to have so much sun in Battlefield 4 in the multiplayer that maybe they should just add four suns, you know, in every direction there should be one sun, so th no matter in which direction you turn, you will be blind. Maybe they should just turn off the display or your monitor, I have no idea. Maybe they should just turn it off and we should all play it blind. That's just... That's just the thing I thought about the lens flares. <sighs> it's so amazing to be not able to see anything. <sighs> yeah, but whatever. So yeah, the so the sun flares they were pretty awesome. Another thing that you know caught my attention a little bit. They didn't change some of the things they probably should have changed in two years of development. You know, for example, the grenade throwing motion is still exactly the same. It's uh, it's the sec exact same animation. They didn't change anything at all and he's still throwing it like he's a 10 year old girl. It's really weird, you know, you got this veteran soldier, maybe 20 years of experience and he was in countless wars and that guy can throw a grenade like five meters and it looks like his arm is broken? I have no idea, it's just weird. And for example the helicopter, it had the same sound it has in Battlefield 3. Don't get me wrong, it's good to use some things that actually worked, but you know, you should change a little bit. You know, the animation, you can change them. The running animation looks a little bit different or, you know, if you shoot someone it looks a little bit different, but we all know that will only be in a single player. You know, if you shoot someone in the lag in multiplayer, he won't go to his knees. That's just not what happens. You will shoot them 100 times and they will drop dead. That's just the thing. They won't flinch, basically. That's always the same. So, yeah, they should have changed the animations and I really hope that they will change the weapon sounds and stuff like that because I don't want to have the same weapon sounds again. Again, that was just boring. Oh, did you see that weapon he blew the wall up with? You know, that looked like the, how's it called, War Machine from Call of Duty 2? Uh, not Call of Duty 2, I'm sorry, from Black Ops 2? It looked like the War Machine, didn't it? But, oh, while we are talking about explosions, did you mention how epic the explosions in this game are? I don't know about you, but if I throw a grenade in real life, it doesn't look like there's a nuclear explosion in front of me. So, I got this feeling that the whole explosions are again designed by Michael Bay, I have no idea, but it just looks like you're throwing a tiny grenade somewhere and there will be a nuclear explosion and there will be thousands of people crying and dying and there's fire and burning flames and... Wow, it just looks 
amazing, but yeah, you pretty much need that because you know the explosions in Battlefield Blue, they weren't distracting enough. You know there wasn't loud enough sound and enough light and smoke. It was just uh, yeah, there wasn't enough distraction in that game to cause you to lose focus. Yeah. So what's your opinion on the Battlefield 4 reveal? Please leave it in the comment section below, rate this video if you liked it, and I really hope you enjoyed this week's commentary challenge. If you did so, let me know. And that was it for this week, I'm Lost Link, signing out.